Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create this nice looking logging form with an uh, awesome effect. As you can see when I focus on the input field, the label slides up and uh, it's the same. And those fields are required. And if we hit John Doe, send now the email. Okay, now the password as you can see. And I think it's really nice. Uh, we will not be using any JavaScript in this video. It's all going to be done in HTML and CSS. So if you are excited to learn this, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. And I'm also going to provide the links to the image in the description below. So go ahead and grab the image so you can code along with me because that is the best way to learn. Before we get started, if we are new to this channel, on this channel I post new videos every single day uh, designed to make you a better web developer so that you can earn more money and live a better life. If that is something you are interested in, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon so that you won't miss any of my videos. With that said, let's get uh, to the coding. So I have an empty folder here on my desktop and I opened it with my text editor, which in my case it's brackets. Now I'm going to create the index.html file, uh, the style.css, and uh, I'm going to create an img folder for the image. Now I'm going to uh, grab this image right here and place it in the img folder. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and download the image from the link in the description below and code along with me. You will learn much faster this way. Okay. Now, let's go to the index.html file, give it a basic markup, a registration form. Uh, let's link the style.css file, style.css. Now we're going to create a div with a class of form box. In here we're going to put an h2 and uh, say register. Now below this we're going to put our form. We don't need an action. Um, let's create a div with a class of form group and inside of here I'm going to put an input field and give it a required attribute and below this a label for username username and I'm going to copy this whole form group uh, two more times uh, now one for the email so put the input type email label for email uh, email and now for the password. So type password, label for password, and password. Now go uh, below outside the form group and create another input with a type of submit. And this will be our button and say send. Okay, that's uh, about it for the markup. Uh, pretty basic. Let's uh, open the file in our browser. As you can see, it looks horrible. We have some styling to do, so let's do that. Go to the style.css file, and let's first give it some um, basic style. So select everything, margin 0, padding 0, uh, box sizing, set it to border box. Now for the body, give it a font family of Arial sans serif. And now for the background, URL, uh, select the image. Uh, background uh, repeat no repeat now background size cover and background position center let's take a look okay now uh, let's center uh, the form box so select the div of the class of form box and uh, give it a position of absolute now from the top 50% left 50%, use the transform property, translate, um, minus 50%, minus 50%, and that should center it. Let's take a look. Okay, it's in the center. Um, let's give it some padding of 30 pixels all around. Um, now, a width of uh, 500 pixels, a height of uh, 450 pixels, and the border radius of uh, 8 pixels and the background uh, use the RGBA we're gonna give it a white uh, background but with an opacity of 0 0.9 let's take a look okay it starts to look better now let's style this uh, register the H2 let me first make some space here 
now form box h2 um, I'll give it a font size let's make it larger of 40 pixels uh, let's align it in the center so text align center give it a margin bottom of uh, 30 pixels a color of uh, CF00E1 and uh, let's uh, text transform it to make it uppercase okay pretty nice now let's uh, style the form groups so go back form box that form group okay give it a position of a relative because we are gonna have uh, the labels as a pos we're gonna give the the labels a position of absolute and uh, when you, uh, to be able to give something a position of absolute and position it its parent must have a position set to relative that's why I did this and give it a margin bottom of uh, 30 pixels okay Moving on, let's uh, style the inputs inside the form groups, so not the button. Uh, we're going to style the bottom after that. Uh, form group, input. Uh, let's see, let's give it a padding of uh, 10 pixels. A font size, make it a little bigger, let's say 20 pixels. A width of 100%. Border, none. A border, bottom one pixels solid 333 three, three. and uh, an outline of none now as you can see it doesn't look very good this white uh, and this uh, transparent background so what we're gonna do is gonna give this a background of uh, white I'm gonna use the RGBA so 255 55, 255 and the opacity we're gonna set it to zero as you can see that takes care of it okay now uh, let's actually style the button so form box input uh, type equals submit that's it um, let's see for the button we're gonna give it a padding of 15 pixels top and bottom 30 pixels left and right a width of a hundred percent a margin top uh, 37 pixels a background we're gonna use the same uh, purple color so uh, CF 00E1 uh, for the background and for the color we're gonna use white now border let's remove it border none a border radius 5 pixels to give it some uh, little rounded corners uh, let's uh, make it uppercase, text transform uppercase uh, font size, let's make it 20 pixels as well a cursor, let's change it to a pointer and uh, transition, we're gonna darken it a little bit but for now 0 0.5 seconds let's take a look uh, okay so we need to let's see what happened here if we remove this margin let's uh, make uh, the height uh, also 500 pixels there you go okay <clears throat> so the button now let's uh, let's work on the hover effect so form box input type equals submit a column hover and we're just gonna give it a darker background so um, AF00BF let's see as you can see it's nice now uh, let's style the let's work on the label so form box dot form group label give it a position of absolute top 0 left 0 to begin with Padding 10 pixels top and bottom 0 left and right a font size also of 20 pixels uh, pointer events none and uh, transition 0 0.5 seconds as well let's see okay we still have something to do so now 
select the form box that form group uh, input uh, focus uh, plus label and when we use this plus it's a uh, it's uh, the next sibling so for instance if we are if uh, we were using this uh, greater than symbol it will mean the direct child of an element but uh, since we're using the plus sign it's uh, the next element on the same level not a child as you can see the label is uh, on the same level as uh, the input i hope uh, it's clear if not uh, ask a comment below put a post a comment and ask me and i'll try to explain better uh, and the uh, comma form box dot form group input dot valid so when the when the inputs are valid and we're gonna give it a top of minus 23 pixels left 0 font size 16 pixels make it a little smaller and color let's give it that purple CF 0 0 E1 uh, that should be it. We should be finished. Now let's take a look. As you can see, it's working. And if we click send, this is required. So, John Doe, try again. Now the email, John Aaron Doe .com. Click send, the password. And if we put the password too, it's gonna obviously, it's not gonna submit anywhere. This is, um, just the uh, just the design actually now i see that uh, we should have uh, removed the we should have let uh, the height to 450 pixels as you can see it looks better this way uh, that was it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did go ahead and uh, hit that like button and if you want to see more videos go ahead and hit uh, the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon so that you won't miss any of the videos i upload because i upload them daily um, that's it, and I'll see you next time. Take care.